Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a little different than previous videos. Instead of showing you how to make a specific recipe, I just want to start a video that emphasizes experimentation and tries to do cool things. So it, it won't always work, but I guess it's always fun to watch. So today's maybe an example of one of the ones that doesn't really work. Today I want to answer the question, can you filter curds from whey using a French press to make cheese? And so the quick answer is sorta. So for those who don't know, when you make cheese, you get to a point where you have curds and that's what the cheese is made of and it, it'll separate from the liquid, which is the whey. And so essentially, if you want to make cheese, you have to filter the two of them from each other. The reason I ask this is because up till now, I haven't owned a cheese cloth or a cheese press. And in the past, I've tried to use a dish towel. They often recommend that. But it doesn't really work for me, and I always end up with a soggy, milky mess all over the place. So today, I'm going to try to use a coffee filter and my AeroPress as well to see if I can separate the curds from the whey. So for the actual recipe for the cheese, I'll be using a simple Indian paneer. The process is pretty easy and straightforward, so it's not too complicated. Instead of using a more traditional Rene, this dish uses citrus as a separation agent. So I'm using a lemon here. So let's get started. So to get started, we need to heat up 2 liters of milk up to just below 93 degrees Celsius or 200 degrees Fahrenheit. To do this, I put this on medium heat. You don't want to heat it up too quickly, so you don't want to put it on high heat because if you heat it up too quickly, you risk scorching the bottom and also the temperature can go above boiling, which you really don't want. Um, it'll rapidly um, boil over and you'll have a hot and milky mess all over your stove and that's not fun. So it'll take a few minutes to reach the temperature. For me, it was about 15 minutes, but I think it's better to go slow. But once you're there, you can add the citrus, as I said, as the juice from one lemon. You want to give it a good stir, and let it sit for a few minutes with the heat turned off. After a few minutes, the curds will start separating from the whey, and this is where the fun starts. So I let it cool down a little bit, so it's a little bit easier to work with. I have three different presses to play with here. I have an IKEA French press, I have my girlfriend's fancy French press, and I have my personal Aero press. I think the best thing to do is start with the Aero press. I love this thing for coffee. It uses paper filters and it makes a really good coffee, especially if you're on the go. But for cheeselets, it doesn't work so well. So I filled up the AeroPress as if I was making a coffee. And since this thing doesn't take a lot of liquid, I had to use the funnel and uh, it only got a few scoops. As soon as I put the AeroPress in, just as if I was making a coffee, I turned it over and then I started put applying pressure to the back. And what I noticed was immediately the paper filter got clogged. And this was, uh, this is not good. And essentially it became really hard to press. And then all of a sudden it became really easy. And that was because the paper filter itself actually, uh, tore. And so I was able to press all the way through, push down without any resistance. And then I realized when I looked at the cup that it was, everything was just in the cup. There was no separation whatsoever. So that didn't work. I tried another way with this, which is that I basically just let gravity do the work. So I was hoping that maybe somehow the filter could just you know, gravity could pull down on the on the whey and and curd and separate it. That also didn't really work. The next thing I tried to do was use my girlfriend's fancy French press. This didn't work at all. It didn't have a very good seal around the edge, so it didn't really separate. The last thing I had was a cheap French press that I got from IKEA. And this started to work. So essentially I poured in the curd whey mixture into the French press. And I applied pressure. And since it's kind of cheap, I didn't mind applying a little bit of extra pressure in case the thing broke. And it actually started to separate. And so it got separated so much that I felt comfortable pouring off the whey from the curds. And it really began to work. I had to apply quite a bit of pressure and really put some elbow grease into it. But eventually, once I got to a point, I had these, these spurts essentially. And it would come up the side. And eventually, the pressure became too much and the filter became so clogged that I was unable to continue to press down. So essentially I had to break down and actually buy a cheesecloth. So I put everything into the French press and then I just let it sit in the fridge overnight. The next day I was able to go and buy um, a cheesecloth and I was able to separate the curds from the whey relatively easily. Now the thing was that once I actually looked at the cheesecloth I really began to understand why. The cheesecloth actually has a pretty intermediate size spacing of the filter. It's a much coarser filter than a coffee filter. So I think that maybe this is actually the, the crucial point here. I might try to do this again in the future, but I put the cheesecloth in here. I put some weight on top of the cheesecloth to kind of press more whey out of the curd. 
And the next day, uh, it looked like this. And I know it's not much to look at, but it's, you know, it worked out pretty well. And I was able to cut this up and put it into a nice salad later. So really, it looks like the, it, at least in this method, the coffee filters don't really work. I'll probably try this again in the future. It is a pretty interesting experiment. And if you guys have any ideas of how this might work better, then certainly send me a message and let me know. So I hope to do more of these kind of videos as well, in addition to the recipe videos. And if you like this, then, you know, give it a thumbs up and, um, and subscribe if you want to. And yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed and uh, see you next time. Bye.